Welcome to You Bet Your Ass. Please welcome your host, Stuart Francis. Hello and welcome to You Bet Your Ass. I am Stuart Francis, now with a caramel center. I would like to introduce my co-host, a gal that's just doing this until she can get a job as a librarian, the lovely Satara. <laughs> Wow, you look beautiful. Oh, well, thank you, Stuart. You look pretty good, too. Thank you. Stuart, you know, I was wondering, like a lot of people, how is it that you got the job as the host of this show? Oh, cheers, Satara. Uh, I guess I got the job because I am a professional. I am what's known as a professional. <laughs> Stuart Francis is a pro. Oh, uh, Stuart? Yeah. They keep telling me you keep hitting your microphone. Who's they? The director. What's the director? I'll tell you later. Why don't we meet the contestants now? Actually, um, let me do this. I gotta redeem myself here, okay. We've got three contestants, David, John, and Chris. Uh, it says here, one of you is a florist. Hang on, there's three guys, though. Stuart, Stuart, why don't we just get right into the game, huh? I know what these contestants want. They want a piece of ass. Okay. Get ready, boys. In this round, each question is worth 100 points, unless you feel really confident about the category, and then you can double down for 200 points. You will have to get both of the questions right. If you get it wrong, someone else can buzz in and steal it from you. And keep your eyes out for that wild card. That's your chance to steal 500 points from another player. You each get bumped 1,000 points to start, and Stuart will take you through it. Thank you, Satara. We determine backstage who goes first by the person who could guess what I do with my parents on Friday nights. With Drambuie and Charades, David, you have control. Let's get you a category now. Hit me! <laughs> Reality. David, what would you like to do? Single or double down? I'll double down. Double down! Double down! Off to a quick start. Here we go. What Howie Mandel hosted program shows just how greedy people can be and how sexy it is to have 26 women holding briefcases? Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal's right. Well done, you. I'd shake your hand, but I'm a germaphobe. Second question. What reality show is set in a beautiful resort with sexy singles who want to steal your boyfriend away? Oh, I'm sorry, David, it's Temptation Island. Let's tempt John with a category. Hit me! <laughs> Celebrity siblings, what would you like to do on this? Single or doubling down? Uh, I'll go for single. Single, here we go. What is the name of Jake Gyllenhaal's older sister who keeps pimping out her friends to him? I don't know. You don't? Does David or Chris? Chris? Maggie? Maggie's right. Well done, you. And staying with the Chris theme, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Hip hop. Here we go, Chris. Here we go. Buckle up. All right. Plaid shirt tells us everything. Let's do it. Doubling down? Let's do it. Good luck. What rapper gave new meaning to pimping as host of Pimp My Ride? Exhibit. Well done, you. <laughs> well done. You have to get the second question right to get all the points. You Can Do It, Put Your Ass Into It was sung by what gangsta rapper who has inspired children everywhere to do the nasty? Wilson. Oh, no, you didn't. It's Ice Cube. David, let's get you a category. Hit me. Norton. Double down. Doubling down Double on down. Norton. Here we go. Good luck, David. In what 1999 movie was Ed Norton nominated for an MTV award for Best Fight, although most of us were watching Brad Pitt with his shirt off? Uh, Fight Club. Cha-ching. Well done, you, David. Second question. In what 2006 flick does Ed Norton play a magician named Eisenheim, who pulls the greatest trick ever, getting Jessica Biel? The Prestige? No, you're not a second question kind of guy, are you? It's The Illusionist. The Illusionist. I'm sorry, David. John, let's get you a category. Hit me! <laughs> Album names. What Double. would you like to do? Doubling down. Double down. Good luck. Kanye West encouraged kids to ditch school with what 2004 album title? Uh, college Dropout. Correct. Well done, John. <laughs> Second question. Perhaps hearkening back to his days as a gangsta, what rapper released The Massacre in 2005? 50 Cent. 50 Cent is right. Well done, you. Chris, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> what the dickens? It's a wild card. I have no idea what that is. Satara? Right. I do. I know what it is. It's his chance to steal 500 points from one of the other players. So who's it going to be? John. John. Didn't like him from the moment you met him. Here we go. 
Oh, baby. Acuhome is the example of what? Which makes couples cry with joy or, in some cases, fear. Birth control? Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Not a safe answer. It was home pregnancy test. Ah. Let's get, that's the end of the round. No more bets, Satara. Oh, well, thank you, Stuart. John has jumped to a lead right off the bat with 1,100. Chris has 900, and David has 600 points. But don't go anywhere, because after the break, we are going to get really dirty. Find out what I mean next. Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass. What's up now, baby girl? Well, Stuart, it's time for these contestants to think fast. There's no room to hide. It's time for the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> contestants, you're going to be randomly asked four different questions each. When the spotlight stops on you, it's your turn to answer, and you got to be quick. You will get 500 points for correct answers. You will not lose points for wrong answers. Stuart? Thank you, Satara. Let's bitch slap this chipmunk. What term would you use to lie to your friends about scoring a three on a par five in golf? David. No idea. Eagle. What former eagle will take his great hands and big mouth to the Dallas Cowboys in 2006? Chris. Terrell Owens. Correct. <laughs> Terrell Owens got flashed by what desperate housewife in a controversial sketch for Monday Night Football? John. Not sure. Nicolette Sheridan. Nicolette Sheridan kept her towel on for the role opposite what famous large comedian in Beverly Hills Ninja? Chris. Chris Farley. Chris Farley. I gave you happy answer. Chris Farley discovered his love for improv and recreational drugs while touring with what famous theater company? John. Don't know that one. Second City. What Second City alumnus found an ideal role as a beer chugging norm on Cheers? David. George Went. George Went is right. George Went made several appearances on Saturday Night Live as one of the super fans obsessed with what NFL team? Chris. The Bears. The Bears. Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears play at what military-sounding stadium? John. Don't know it. Are you new in town? Soldier Field. Soldier Field hosted the final concert of what legendary rock band, known for its legion of acid-tripping fans? David. The Grateful Dead. Well done. That is correct. The Grateful Dead started tripping to their music in what California city? David again. San Francisco? Well done. Good guess. What San Francisco landmark does Magneto uproot to excess Alcatraz in a kick-ass scene from X-Men 3? Chris. Uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Correct. The Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is used as a snowboarding halfpipe in the Californication video by what funk rock band? The Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's the end, of the end of a dirty dozen. Over to you, Satara. Thank you very much, Stuart. Chris has jumped to an incredible lead with 2,900. John's got 1,600, and David has 2,100. And now, contestants, it's time to raise the point values and raise the roof. Let's play up your ass. Now, this round is very similar to the first round, but the point values have doubled. That's right. Each question is now worth 200 points. You could double down on it for 400 points. Remember to get both questions right, or someone else will buzz in and steal that question from you. You each get bumped 1,000 points to continue. Stuart? Thank you to Satara. Satara, oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> John, you got your name right earlier on and little else since. Let's get you caught up. Let's get you a category right now. Hit me! Movie tags, here we go. Now's the time, John. Single or double down? I'll go double. Doubling down. Good luck to you, my friend. What Adam Sandler comedy asked us, what if you had a universal remote that controlled your universe? David, Chris, Chris. Click. Click is right. Now this is a steal on a double down. You have to get this question right. Keanu Reeves was years away from Sandra Bullock in what flick then inquired, how do you hold on to someone you've never met? 
The Lake House. The Lake House. Well done. Very impressive. And it's your category. Hit me. Maroon 5. What do you know about them? What, what do I got to lose? You're Double a hip-hop guy. Double down. Let's go. You're doubling down. Okay. Maroon 5 hit the road with what aging rockers and their nursing staff in 2005? The Rolling Stones. Correct. Well done. John's thinking, why can't I get that kind of question? Second question. Maroon 5 had a difficult time finding a new band name from what original moniker? No idea. A little cheeky, Maroon. Oh. So no points for you on that one. David, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Family Guy, what do you know about this? I gotta double down. Doubling down. Double down. Good luck, David. What kind of cocktail does the family dog Brian enjoy getting hammered off of? Martini. Martini is it. Well done. What curvy actress from the movie Mean Girls once provided the voice for Dumpling Daughter Meg? Oh, Lacey Chabert. Well done! Nice! John, let's get you a category, get you back in this game. Hit me! <laughs> Athlete celebrity couples. What do you want to do, my friend? Single or doubling down? I'll go double. Doubling down. Good luck. San Antonio Spurs guard Tony Parker dunks his balls in the hoop of what desperate housewife? I don't know the desperate housewives. Oh, really? Okay. Guys, Chris, David? David? Uh, Eva Longoria. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Second half of the steal, you have to get this right to get the points. Actress Brigitte Wilson likes to get grand slammed by what former tennis star? Oh, um... You're going to hate yourself. Pete yeah. Sampras. So no points on the steal. Chris, it's your category. Hit me! <laughs> Yummy mummies. Yes. All right, let's do it. Double. Doubling down. What country singer got more than the kiss from Tim McGraw? Faith Hill. Faith Hill is right. Well done. What morning talk show hottie can say that she had all my children with fellow soap star Mark Consuelos? Kel... No. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you were yeah. on it. Kelly Ripa. Oh, yeah. No points on that double down. David, let's get you a category. Hit me! <laughs> Who did I sleep with, David? What would you like to do, single or double down? Uh... I'll double down. Doubling down. Here we go. She says that she's the star of a show called So Notorious and that she's married to a Canadian. Who did I sleep with? Tori Spelling. Tori Spelling's right. Well done, you. <laughs> Second question. She says she's a Revlon girl with Cuban heritage and did a nude scene in Training Day. Who did I sleep with? Eva Mendez. Well done, you, young man. John, let's get you a category. Hit me. Kitty card games. Double. What would you like to do? Doubling down. Here we go. Okay, get this. When you ask another player if they have a card and they don't, you have to go and get another card. Go fish. Nice! Yes! I knew you would know something. What's it called when your older brother throws the deck of cards and makes you collect them? 52 pickup. Well done, you! Yes! Well done, John. Chris, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Geography 101. What would you like to do, Chris? Double down. Doubling down. Beautiful. Even obese people can float on their backs in what sea? The world's saltiest. The Dead Sea? The Dead Sea. <laughs> what metamorphic rock do we associate with statues, cheese, and the expensive countertops that led to my divorce? Marble. Marble! Well done, you. That's the end of our round. No more bets. Satara. Thank you, Stuart. Chris is still in the lead spot, but narrowly. He's got 3,900 points. David right behind him with 3,500. And John with 2,200. But don't worry, John. It's still anybody's game. You could pull off an upset in our No Holes Barred final round coming up after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to your Bet Your Eyes. We're having a great game today. Satara, tell us all about it, please. All right, Stuart. This next round is as risky as selling pork rinds outside a synagogue. It's time to put your ass on the line. <laughs> okay, contestants, you're going to be given a category of your choice with three different questions in each. You can bet whatever you want on each question with a minimum bet of 500 points. The contestant with the most points at the end of the round will win. I can't wait to find out who it is. Can you? 
Yeah, I can. Uh, John, you're up first because you're trailing. Let's get you four categories to look at right now, please. <laughs> Women movies, cars in pop culture, celebrity fortune cookies, indie rock snob. What would you like to choose? Can I have indie rock snob? You can indeed. It is your day. You've got 2,200 points to our leader, Chris, with 3,900 points. What would you like to wager on this, your first question? Everything. Are you sure? Yes. Brilliant Matt Pond B P A covered Champagne Supernova by what British band who can sing as well as they get their teeth kicked in? Oasis? Oh, don't get smart. Yes, yeah, Oasis. 4,400. John is our leader right now. That sounds weird. That sounds really weird. Yeah. What would you like to wager on this, your second question? Uh, 2,200. 2,200. The Decemberists are an amazing indie rock band from Oregon. What country of revolution does their name refer to? Uh, Russia. Russia, well done. <laughs> Bit of a dark horse. 6,600 points, your last question. What do you want to wager on this? Um, 2,600. 2,600. What lucky Aussie band has shined on the indie scene with such luminary albums as The First Tape and Happy Secret? And by the way, if you know this, you're the bomb. Uh, ACDC? No, the Lucksmiths. Mm. Back down to 4,000 points. You're still our leader. We're going over to David. What category would you like, my friend? Uh, cars and pop culture, please. Cars and pop culture. Here we go. First question. You got 3,500 to John, our leader, with 4,000. What would you like to wager? Uh, 2,500. 2,500. What was the name of the cartoon van that got hot boxed by Shaggy in the Scooby Doo series? Uh, the Mystery Machine. Well done. Well done, David. <laughs> Takes you up to 6,000 points. Your second question. What would you like to wager? 2,500. 2,500. In what 2000 movie do Nicolas Cage and his gang have to steal 50 cars in four days? Gone in 60 seconds? Well done. Well done, David. 8,500 points. I don't know how higher board goes. What would you like to wager on this? Your last question. Uh, 2,000. 2,000. What movie car was the love bug in 1969? and had to be fully loaded for Lindsay Lohan in 2005. Oh, Herbie. Herbie, yes, we'll take that. Judges, is that okay? That is okay, well done, David. Turn to you, Chris, two categories remaining, celebrity fortune cookies and women movies. What would you like to choose? Uh, woman movies? Here we go. These are not those kind of movies. These are, are movies with the word woman in the title. What would you like to wager? You got 3,900 to David's 10,500 points. I will uh, start with 2,500. 2,500. Julia Roberts played a very reasonably priced streetwalker in what 1990 film? Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman's right. Well done. 6,400 points. David's 10,500 points. Second question, Chris. What's the wager? Um, let's do... Let's do 3,000. 3,000. Tyler Perry put on fake boobs and a wig in what 2005 low-budget hit? Medea's Family Reunion? No, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Takes you down to 3,400 points. I know, right. a bit of an O, oh, but here's your last question. What would you like to wager? Bet it all. All in. Al Pacino is blind and Chris O'Donnell is himself in what popular 1992 drama? I, I, Chris, you bailed I, on I us. I give up. You were our done. best player all day. You bail on us all at right. the end. It's, it's sorry, it's uh, Scent of a Woman. I'm, David's our winner! David's our winner. He's won 500 bucks. John, Chris, you've been great contestants, but we're going to have to ask you to leave. Sitara? <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. Wow, David's rich. No, not really, but he'll have a chance to play for a lot more money after the break. Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass. I'm Stuart Francis, the host of You Bet Your Ass. And I'm here with David, today's champion. Yes. Now you have already won 500 bucks, but what do you want to do now? You've got a decision to make, and I'm not going to ask you to make that decision just yet. I want you to win more money, and so does the beautiful Satara.
Okay, David, congratulations on winning 500. But you have one more bet to place in this, the You Bet Your Ass Casino. Are you gonna go for one question for 1,000? Or are you gonna double down two more questions for $2,000? What's it gonna be? Crowd, what do you think? I gotta, I gotta double down. You're He's doubling down. down! He's doubling down! down. Yeah. Very exciting. David, let's get you a category. Hit me. Salma. So far, so good. You're looking pretty good right like now. It. First question. Salma Hayek is from what North American country known more for spicy food and kidnappings than for busty, hot actresses? Mexico? Mexico's right! That's one down. One to go, my friend. In what 1999 big-budget but badly planned Western did Salma star alongside the lovable Will Smith? Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West! And you're a wild, wild winner. David, you've just won $2,500. I'm Stuart Francis. Are the margaritas on David? You bet your ass!